So you need to live out in the country like us and tired of not getting good cell phone signal? You may want to watch this video. Today I'm going to show you how you can boost your cell phone signal and reception inside your home or shop. So welcome everyone. My name is Andrew and you're watching The Killer's Country Life. A very popular video that we did on the channel was cell phone signal boosters. I've installed a couple here on the property over the years because, well, putting a metal roof on our house and having a metal shop outside has completely killed our signal or degraded it to the point that we were having drop calls and some other cellular connectivity issues. So one of the companies that I went with was Highboost. I have their system currently in the house. I've been running it for well over a year now and it's worked very well for me. So they just come out with a new system, asked me if I'd be willing to test it. So I'm really doing this test honestly for you. I'm content and happy with what I have, but this new system says to be far more powerful, will cover a much larger home. That's been a question from a lot of y'all. And if it increases our signal even more and our cell phones connectivity, why not? So let's don't bore you with all the details. Let's jump right into this. Today we're going to be installing this system. We're going to run some tests with no booster, my old booster, and then this new one. And I'm hoping to see dramatic improvements all along the way. All right, so here I am unboxing the High Boost 4K Map Pro. And everything comes nice and well packaged, just like I remember the last unit coming. There's a user manual right there that gives you the apps to download, as well as I provide that information down in the description. This is your indoor antenna. Keep in mind, this unit also has a built-in internal antenna in this box right here. This is where all the magic happens. Your cables go in here, you power it up. It's got uh, your input antenna, your external antenna, plus the built-in one right there. Speaking of, this is the antenna that we're about to go outside and mount up on a mast. So that's the beauty of these systems. The antenna mounts outside, it picks up the cell signal, brings it inside. This unit converts it, does the boosting, has uh, multiple antennas, and it broadcasts that out through your home. Also, this unit right here comes with much better coax cable than the last one. Something I like to see because that makes a big difference in your signal strength. This is a better quality cable than the last model that I used. So here I am up in my attic with my much smaller original high boost cell phone booster right here. I'm going to unplug this. You're going to see the lights turn off from over there. So the booster is no longer working. Let's run some signal and speed test with my cell phone with this booster off. Kind of see where we're at. Turn this one on, then let's install the new system and see how much improvement we're seeing going with a much more expensive system. All right, so I'm using the Open Signal app as recommended by Highboost. I don't know how well you can see, it's so hard to focus here. But if you look at, up at the top, we are showing LTE is not even lit up and two bars of signal. That's about all we could ever get, and you'll occasionally see LTE work, but we're underneath a metal roof and it really is hindering our ability for cell connectivity. All right, so let's run a quick speed test. See where we're at. That's actually some of the better download I've ever got without a cell booster. Of course, it'll do that for the video here, but that's okay. Now look at the upload, not even getting one megabit a second. Download 10, and like I said, typically I do not see that well at all. Latency 106. All right, so now I'm gonna plug my original Haibu system back in. And by the way, this one's rated for about 1500 square feet. So a relatively small house. And here, what you're seeing up here is the indoor panel antenna for that particular system. The new one also comes with a panel antenna as well as it has a built-in antenna. And it also has the ability to add a third antenna. So let's plug it in, see if the signal goes up. I can already guarantee you it will. Does speed and all increase? Who knows? Okay, so now with the system plugged in, I'm actually getting full five bars of service. Typically, I maintain four. So we're doing really good today. But you can see the dramatic difference at the top right of the screen. Went from two bars to five bars. So yes, their systems do work. So let's run another speed test and see what kind of increases, if any, we got. Latency is already better. As often is the case, a lot of times download will drop because you're doing a single boosted antenna, not multiple antennas like a phone picks up. And because that antenna is talking back to the tower now, upload dramatically improves. So if you're doing any kind of Zoom calls or meetings or FaceTime or anything on your phone, upload is very important. 
So that's with the older kind of basic system. Now you can say I'm down to four bars of signal, but signal greatly improved if you're dropping calls or having connectivity issues, upload improved. Often is the case I've seen download does drop with these systems, but let's install the new one to see what kind of improvements it's made over this old system. Okay, so I pulled some video from my last installation video because the process is exactly the same. So here I am installing that pole mount. Like I said, it's not included, but I'll put a link down there. You can pick that up on Amazon real cheap. Just bolts to the fascia board on the outside of your house. And then you clamp your antenna up there to that pole itself. Now I'm drilling a hole through the soffit and going to run the wire up into the house, feed that in through my attic. You can go through the wall or you can even go through a window with the provided cable that they offered with that. Now once you move inside, find your location where you want to mount that indoor antenna, assuming you want to use it. Don't forget this model has a built-in antenna, but you can add this second antenna, which I recommend. And here I am removing the old system. So you can see the size difference. They're just It feels like there's so much more quality and more build to the new system. Look, look at it there. There's just a lot more hardware and stuff going on on the inside. So I'm going to pull the old cables out because the system comes with newer better quality cables so you want to make for sure that you use those and make for sure that you pay attention to the connections on top of the unit one is for the external antenna one is for the indoor antenna itself so you want to make sure you get those in the right location so here's a cool app this is called the open signal app links down in the description i highly recommend you use this whenever you find your cell towers so it's a map that you can zoom in to where you live you can zoom out and you can see for example it's showing there's a verizon tower a few miles away you can see the verizon check mark right there so this app allows you to locate the directions of towers then it's got another screen right here with a compass on it so you can walk around in the yard the compass will move as you point your phone and you can see now i'm pointing toward that tower now i know the location to get back up on the roof and point to that antenna that we just mounted i want to aim it toward the tower so here's another app. This is the Supervisor app by HiBoost. I really like this. So this is looking at your input signal strengths, your output signal strengths. By the way, I haven't made adjustments yet. That's why some of these look so low. But what this allows you to do is literally be outside near the antenna making adjustments. You're logged into your system right now, and you're seeing the improvements that you're making. So you can tell which direction you want to aim your antenna, as well as how you mount the indoor antennas. This is another part of that app as well. Again, just giving you further signal signal strengths and allowing you to take a real deep dive into setting your system up. This is something I wish all of these devices would offer. So you don't have to keep climbing down, coming inside, running speed tests. This is allowing you to check everything. So I'm inside. I just powered the unit up. So a real quick note, you see that speed down there? I just got 21 down, 2 up. That was on the internal antenna only. I had not hooked up that extra white antenna that I mounted to the wall. Also, top right of the screen, I'm running 5 bars of signal now. Keep in mind, I'm at 2 whenever I don't have the system powered up. So I just hooked up the extra indoor antenna. Download is about the same in the 20s, which is the best I have ever got here over cellular strength. But look at the upload. That indoor antenna made a heck of an improvement on that. So if you're doing Microsoft Teams or Zoom or using your phone as hotspot, I really like that. These are usable speeds for things such as that. I'm really happy to see that. I also went outside on the porch. It's a bit blurry and hard to see, but I'm getting four bars of signal top right right there which is the best i've ever got on the porch so this unit's obviously boosting signal out there okay as well i'll run a quick speed test it does drop down as expected i'm going through walls and glass and everything else but download is still great and the uh the upload does take a little bit of a hit again but i'm outside and these are perfect usable speeds and the main reason you're going to put one of these systems in is to boost your cellular signal so you're not dropping calls and uh, it made a big improvement out here all the way on the porch as well all right so to wrap this video up what do i think about the unit i, I mean i'm impressed for the increase in quality here and the increase in price over the system I had, I was expecting some improvement. We all were, right? But I will say I got better speeds than I was expecting. Now, typically you're buying one of these units to increase your sales signal. You're dropping calls, you have connectivity issues, but a good side benefit is a lot of times your speeds will increase. Now with my old system, for example, download actually decreased. They've obviously got something figured out with this system because not only did my download dramatically 
dramatically increase my upload increase as well, especially once I kicked on that internal antenna. I like this system allows you to add on a third antenna, although I think that disconnects the internal antenna when you do that, but essentially you could put two antennas, two uh, panel ones in a home or a very large structure to try to get up to that 6,000 square foot of coverage. I'm still getting good signal out on the porch. I mean, this seems to have a really good range. It's covering several thousand square feet, no issues at all. Another thing I love, their supervisor app. That's really neat that they're doing that. All types of equipment like this should offer that. The last thing you want to be is out there on the roof or on a ladder having to get down. It's so nice to be able to check on this equipment, look inside, check all your signal strengths straight from the ladder, make your adjustments and go on about your business. Now, some of y'all are curious about warranty. They told me in the email they sent me, it's a 30 day exchange or refund if you don't like the unit, and it's up to three year warranty on the equipment itself. My old system, zero issues. It either works or it doesn't, and it's always worked. So if you have a larger home or building, this seems like an awesome option. I do recommend the High Boost 4K Map Pro. And FYI, I didn't get paid to make this review. I honestly did it to make some more content for the channel. The last video did well, and and I've always been curious about, is there that big of an improvement between the kind of entry level $200 systems and the ones that cost quite a bit more? And yes, there absolutely seems to be far better equipment, hardware, cables, everything was dramatically improved. And as y'all seen, I'm getting good enough speeds now that if my internet ever goes down for whatever reason and I do social media for a living, internet's everything to me. I work from home just like a lot of y'all. I'm now getting good enough speeds on my phone thanks to this system. I'll just turn hotspot on, hook my laptop up, and I have a second backup means of internet here. I really, really like that. Okay, so hopefully you enjoyed the video. I appreciate Haibu sending this out to make some content on the channel and do a little testing. Link's down in the description if you want to go look at some of their other systems that they offer. They have all different ranges for what they cover, but this seems to be one of their new, more popular systems. Catch y'all in the next video.